we've got some exciting titles coming up in 2025 and 2026, like Thunderbolts, Mickey 17, Minecraft, and The Hunger Games. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's dive into all the great stuff on the horizon. Den of Thieves Pantera, January 10th, 2025. Den of Thieves 2 Pantera is the upcoming sequel to the 2018 action crime drama Den of Thieves. Directed and written by Christian Gudegast, it brings back Gerard Butler and O'Shea Jackson Jr. in their roles as Big Nick and Donnie Wilson. The movie is set to hit theaters in the U.S. on January 10, 2025, distributed by Lionsgate. The story picks up right after the first movie, with Big Nick chasing Donnie, who's now in Europe and planning another big heist. The cast also includes Michael Bisping, Salvatore Esposito, and others. Filming took place in the UK and Canary Islands between April and July 2023. After some changes in distribution, Lionsgate secured the rights, and the movie is now set for a 2025 release. In the Grey, January 17, 2025. In the Grey is an upcoming action thriller film written and directed by Guy Ritchie. The film stars Henry Cavill, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Isa Gonzalez, along with Rosamund Pike, Fisher Stevens, Jason Wong, and Carlos Bardem. Produced by Black Bear Pictures, the movie follows the story of John Gray and Michael Harris, though plot details are being kept under wraps. Announced in May 2023, In the Grey reunites Ritchie with Cavill, Gyllenhaal, and Gonzalez, all of whom have worked with the director in previous projects. Filming took place in Tenerife, Spain, during September and October 2023, with notable locations including the Real Casino de Tenerife and the Las Teresitas Beach area. The film was allowed to continue production during the 2023 SAG-AFTRA strike thanks to an interim agreement. Mickey 17, January 31, 2025 Mickey 17 is an upcoming sci-fi black comedy from director Bong Joon-ho, based on the novel Mickey 7 by Edward Ashton. The movie stars Robert Pattinson, Naomi Aki, Stephen Yoon, Tony Collette, and Mark Ruffalo. The plot centers on Mickey Barnes, who signs up to be an expendable, a worker whose body is regenerated after each death, keeping most of their memories intact. When Mickey 17 survives a mission to colonize the icy world Nilfheim, he finds himself at odds with his replacement Mickey 18. Filming took place at Warner Brothers Studios, Livesden, from August to December 2022, with Charles Yu contributing additional writing. The Monkey, February 21, 2025 Osgood Perkins, son of the iconic Norman Bates, definitely has horror in his DNA, as shown by his chilling films like The Black Coat's Daughter and Long Legs. In 2025, he's diving back into the genre with a bit of a twist. Perkins is adapting Stephen King's story The Monkey, which follows twin brothers who find an old monkey toy in their attic. Soon after, people around them start mysteriously dying, and the brothers suspect the creepy toy might be behind it. In an interview with Bloody Disgusting, Perkins described the vibe of his new film, saying it'll feel more like Misery, Creepshow, Gremlins, or American Werewolf. He noted that a lot of King's work has a funny, nostalgic feel, so they aimed for a late 80s to 90s vibe. Like if Robert Zemeckis had a bit of acid and made a Stephen King movie about a monkey toy. The cast includes Theo James as the adult twins and Christian Convery as the younger versions, with Elijah Wood, Tatiana Maslany, Sarah Levy, and Rowan Campbell rounding out the lineup. Snow White, March 21st, 2025. The trailer for Disney's live-action Snow White has been released, and fans finally get a look at Rachel Zegler as Snow White and Gal Gadot as the Evil Queen. Both stars appeared at D23 to talk about their roles, with Zegler calling it a dream come true to play the iconic princess. She shared how exciting it was to wear the Disney princess dress for six months, and can't wait for everyone to see the movie. Gadot, who plays the Evil Queen, said it was a blast playing such an evil and magical character. She loved doing something so different from her usual roles and even got to sing in the movie. Directed by Mark Webb, the live-action remake of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs reimagines the classic 1937 animated film. The story follows Snow White as she flees from her jealous stepmother, the Evil Queen, and finds safety with seven dwarves. The Evil Queen eventually gives Snow White a poisoned apple, but she's saved by a prince's kiss. In this version, however, Zegler Snow White isn't waiting for true love. 
She's focused on becoming a brave and fair leader, inspired by her late father's words. Zegler emphasized that this retelling is more about Snow White discovering her own strength and leadership. Minecraft, April 4, 2025 The buzz around the Minecraft movie is ramping up, and it looks like it could be a major player in the world of video game adaptations. Launched in 2011, Minecraft is a sandbox game that has captured the imaginations of millions and become the best-selling game ever. With such a massive fan base, if Warner Brothers plays their cards right, this film could rake in serious box office numbers. Production on the Minecraft movie kicked off back in 2014, but a lot has changed in that time, including the film itself, the entertainment scene, and even the game. Since there's no specific storyline to pull from, the movie will lean on Minecraft's lore, which fans really connect with. Jason Momoa is leading a star-studded cast as Garrett the Garbage Man Garrison. He's joined by Emma Myers as Natalie, Danielle Brooks as Dawn, and Sebastian Hansen as Henry, a group of misfits who finds themselves in the Minecraft world. Jack Black will play Steve, the expert player guiding them on their adventure. Other notable cast members include Jennifer Coolidge, Jemaine Clement, and Kate McKinnon in undisclosed roles. The official synopsis reveals that the film will follow these characters as they navigate the Minecraft world and learn the skills they need to get back home. Essentially, they're trying to figure out how to succeed in real life through the game. After years of development, the first trailer was released in September 2024, giving fans a glimpse of the characters entering the Minecraft world. They meet Jack Black's Steve, who reveals his identity with minimal fanfare. While the trailer showcases lots of iconic visuals from the game, it keeps the plot details pretty vague. Directed by Jared Hess, the film story comes from a mix of writers, including Chris Bowman and Alison Schroeder. Based on the game that's taken the world by storm, this movie promises to be a unique adventure when it hits theaters. The Accountant 2, April 25th, 2025 Amazon MGM Studios is gearing up for a theatrical release of the much-anticipated sequel on April 25th. Until now, details about its release hadn't been shared, but it's exciting news for fans of Ben Affleck and the original film, which was directed by Gavin O'Connor. This April date has proven successful for Amazon MGM before, like with Challengers. Directed by Luca Guadagnino, which opened to $15 million and grossed a total of $94.2 million globally. As of now, The Accountant 2 is the only major release scheduled for that weekend, right before Marvel's Thunderbolts hits theaters on May 2nd. In the sequel, Treasury agent Mary Beth Medina reaches out to Christian Wolf after her former boss is murdered by unknown assassins. He teams up with his estranged but dangerous brother Brax, to use his sharp mind and unconventional methods to crack the case. As they delve deeper, they attract the attention of some very ruthless killers determined to stop their investigation. The screenplay is by Bill Dubuc, who worked on the first film, and the cast also includes Oscar winner J.K. Simmons, Daniela Pineda, Alison Robertson, Robert Morgan, and Grant Harvey. The Accountant was a hit for Warner Brothers in 2016, raking in $155 million worldwide and becoming the most rented digital film of 2017. It's still popular today, recently ranking number one on Netflix's Global Top 10 Movies chart after its debut on the platform. Artists' Equity is handling the production for The Accountant 2, having acquired the sequel rights from Warner Brothers and collaborating with Amazon MGM. The producing team includes Affleck, Matt Damon, Lynette Howell-Taylor, and Mark Williams. Thunderbolts, May 2, 2025. Marvel had a pretty tough year in 2023. Some of their films didn't do well, and they lost their main villain, Jonathan Majors. But fans are looking ahead with excitement for what's next. The upcoming Thunderbolts movie is one project many have been eager to see since the start of the MCU. Now that we've got some updates, let's dive into what we know about it. The Thunderbolts first popped up in Marvel Comics in 1997, debuting in The Incredible Hulk. Initially, they appeared to be a new team of superheroes, but it was revealed that they were actually supervillains led by Baron Zemo, posing as heroes to gain trust and access secrets from other hero teams and S.H.I.E.L.D. Over time, some members wanted to be heroes for real, leading to the team's breakup. The MCU seems to be taking a version where the Thunderbolts are a government-backed strike team 
made up of reformed villains looking for redemption or shorter prison sentences, somewhat like DC's Suicide Squad. Characters like Norman Osborn and Black Widow have led the team in comics. In the MCU, we've seen Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, played by Julia Louis-Dreyfus, popping up in different projects as she recruits team members. She first appeared in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, bringing disgraced Captain America replacement John Walker into the fold. Valentina also showed up in Black Widow and Black Panther Wakanda Forever, where she became the new head of the CIA, making her a great candidate to lead the Thunderbolts. As for who's on the team, John Walker and Yelena Belova are confirmed members. Red Guardian and Taskmaster from Black Widow will also be joining the team. Ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp is in the mix too, and Bucky Barnes is expected to lead the team. The buzz is that the Thunderbolts will unite to tackle a powerful character known as the Sentry. Speaking of the Sentry, Marvel brought him back into the fold in 2000, claiming he was a long-lost character created before Spider-Man and the Fantastic Four. He was marketed as Marvel Superman with super strength and flight, but it turned out he was mentally unstable and posed a threat to the entire Marvel Universe. Steven Yeun was originally cast for this role, but had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts. Louis Pullman is rumored to take over, while Geraldine Viswanathan is stepping in for Ayo Edebiri in a supporting role. According to industry sources, the plot might revolve around Yelena, US Agent, Ghost and Taskmaster being sent on a mission that turns out to be a setup, leading them to team up against Valentina. Harrison Ford's Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, who assembles the team in the comics, won't appear in Thunderbolts, though he'll be in Captain America Brave New World. David Harbour teased that the movie will significantly impact the MCU, hinting at some major reveals. A teaser trailer released at San Diego Comic-Con showed Yelena recruiting Red Guardian, who hilariously thinks she's from DoorDash. The trailer included a moment where Yelena jumps off a super tall building, and Florence Pugh actually did that stunt herself. The Karate Kid, May 30th, 2025 The Karate Kid franchise is still going strong after all these years. The original movie dropped back in June 1984, and now we've got the Cobra Kai series on Netflix and a new film titled Karate Kid Legends set to come out in 2025. The first films follow Daniel LaRusso as he learned karate and dealt with bullies. There was also a 2010 remake with Jaden Smith, who learned kung fu instead. Sony has announced Karate Kid Legends, but it's still a bit unclear how it fits with the existing movies. They've promised a return to the original vibe of the franchise, but it seems like it might be more of a soft reboot, especially since Cobra Kai has already continued the story. Thanks to Cobra Kai's popularity, there's a lot of excitement around this new film. As for the cast, Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan are both coming back to reprise their roles. Macchio returns as Daniel and Chan as Mr. Han from the 2010 remake. They even did a casting call video together looking for the new Karate Kid, which ended up being Ben Wang. Other cast members include Ming-Na Wen, her role still a secret, Sadie Stanley as the lead's romantic interest, and Joshua Jackson as her dad. In terms of the story, Karate Kid Legends will follow a teenager from China, learning from a tough but fair mentor, likely Chan's character. The action will shift from the West Coast to the East Coast, but how it connects to the original franchise is still a bit of a mystery. With Machio returning as Daniel, it seems like the old and new stories might intertwine, but we'll have to wait and see. The film is directed by Jonathan Entwistle and is produced by Columbia Pictures and Sony Pictures Entertainment. Ballerina, June 6, 2025 Get ready to dive back into the world of secret assassin societies with Ballerina, directed by Len Wiseman, known for Underworld and Live Free or Die Hard. The film stars Ana de Armas as the titular character, a killer trained in the traditions of the Ruscaroma crime family, which is connected to the John Wick universe. In Ballerina, her character seeks revenge against the villains who murdered her parents. Returning cast members include Angelica Houston as the director, Lance Reddick as Concierge Charon, Ian McShane as Winston, and Keanu Reeves as John Wick. The movie acts as a midquel, set between the third and fourth John Wick films. New faces in the cast include Gabriel Byrne, Norman Reedus, Catalina Sandino, David Castaneda, and Sharon Duncan Brewster. 
The original script was written by Shea Hatton with rewrites by Emerald Fennell. The release was delayed from 2024 to 2025 due to the involvement of franchise overseer Chad Stahelski, who helped Wiseman film additional action scenes. Jurassic World Rebirth, July 2, 2025 Even though dinosaurs are long gone, the Jurassic Park franchise is still going strong, with no signs of slowing down. Since the original dropped in 1993, it raked in billions at the box office, and after the Jurassic World trilogy with Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, Universal is gearing up for a soft reboot called Jurassic World Rebirth, set to hit theaters on July 2, 2025. This new film picks up after Jurassic World Dominion, where dinosaurs are chilling in warmer climates. A team of experts, led by Scarlett Johansson, plans to snag DNA from the three largest dinosaurs, hoping to create a miracle drug. But things take a wild turn when they get stranded on an island with a frightened family. Joining Johansson are Mahershala Ali, Jonathan Bailey, Manuel Garcia Rulfo, Rupert Friend, Luna Blaze, and David Iacono. David Kapp, who wrote the original Jurassic Park, is on script duties, while Gareth Edwards, known for Rogue One and Godzilla, will direct. Superman, July 11, 2025 This will be the character's first standalone film since Man of Steel over 10 years ago. James Gunn is both writing and directing, introducing a younger Superman to kickstart a new vision for the DC Universe. In March 2023, Gunn announced that David Korenswit would take on the role of Superman, with Rachel Brosnahan as Lois Lane. The cast also includes Nicholas Holt as Lex Luthor, Nathan Fillion as Green Lantern Guy Gardner, Skylar Gazondo as photographer Jimmy Olsen, Wendell Pierce as Perry White, and Isabella Merced as Hawkgirl. Additionally, the film features Anthony Kerrigan as Metamorpho, Maria Gabriela Di Faria as Angela Spica, the engineer, Eddie Cathagy as Mr. Terrific, and Sarah Sempeo as Lex Luthor's henchwoman, Eve Teschmacher. Fans are eager to see what this new installment brings. Animal Friends, August 15, 2025 Ryan Reynolds became the star of the MCU in 2024 with the huge hit Deadpool and Wolverine. While he won't be putting on the iconic black and red suit in 2025, he's set to embark on a wild road trip in the upcoming this R-rated adventure film, Animal Friends. This movie will blend live action with animated characters, although details about the plot are still unknown. What we do know is that Reynolds will be joined by some big names, including Jason Momoa, Aubrey Plaza, Daniel Levy, Little Ray Howery, Addison Ray, and Ellie Bamber. Directed by Peter Atencio, known for Keanu and the Machine. Sean Aries, October 10, 2025 Get ready to hop back on your light cycle because Tron Ares is on the way. The last time we dove into this digital universe, we got an epic soundtrack by Daft Punk and a younger-looking Jeff Bridges. This time, Jared Leto stars as a computer programmer that escapes into the real world, bringing some AI vibes with him. Instead of Daft Punk, Nine Inch Nails will provide the score, adding their signature style to the mix. Joining Leto are Greta Lee, Evan Peters, Gillian Anderson and Jody Turner-Smith. Plus, Jeff Bridges will return, making him the only actor to have appeared in all three Tron films. Directed by Joaquin Ronning, known for Pirates of the Caribbean, the movie faced delays during the 2023 strikes, but is back on track. Street Fighter, March 20, 2026 The new Street Fighter movie, created in collaboration with Capcom, is based on the beloved Street Fighter video game series, known for its exciting martial arts tournaments and iconic characters. While there's some uncertainty about the release date since the original directors, Danny and Michael Filippo have stepped back. Sony and Capcom are expected to announce a new director soon. Since its debut in 1987, the Street Fighter franchise has made a significant impact in the gaming world, selling over 49 million units worldwide. With the latest game, Street Fighter VI, further building on its legacy, this film adaptation offers a chance for the franchise to finally hit the mark where past attempts have missed. Super Mario Bros. 2, April 3, 2026 The logo for the sequel to the Super Mario Bros. movie just popped up in an IMAX investor presentation, and it looks a lot like the original, but with a big 2 to show its sequel. Even though Illumination and Nintendo haven't officially released it, it's a fun sneak peek for fans. 
Shigeru Miyamoto hinted that the sequel will dive deeper into Mario's universe with a bright and fun story, but we still don't know much about the plot. The original voice cast is coming back, including Chris Pratt as Mario, Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach, Charlie Day as Luigi, Keegan-Michael Key as Toad, Jack Black as Bowser, and Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. There's also chatter about the movie possibly introducing new characters and taking the Mario universe in exciting new directions. Shrek 5, July 1, 2026 Shrek 5 is officially in development and is poised to be a major summer success that fans have been eagerly awaiting. DreamWorks Animation has confirmed the release date and announced the return of the original cast. Mike Myers will once again voice Shrek, Eddie Murphy will reprise his role as Donkey, and Cameron Diaz will return as Princess Fiona, which is particularly exciting since Diaz had previously stepped back from acting. Additionally, a Donkey spinoff is in the works, promising fans more of Murphy's beloved character. As for Shrek 5, there's buzz about new characters and storylines, with the sequel expected to explore fresh adventures and deeper family dynamics, especially since Shrek and Fiona's children will be older teens when the movie is released. The Hunger Games – Sunrise on the Reaping November 20th, 2026 Suzanne Collins is back in Panem with a new prequel novel that centers on a young Hamish Abernathy during the 50th Hunger Games, also known as the First Quarter Quell. There's already a movie adaptation in the works, which will dig deeper into Hamish's backstory and the brutal challenges he faced, including those notorious mutts. The story will tie into The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, looking at how these mutts evolved and possibly uncovering what happened to Dr. Gall, the dark mastermind behind many of the capital's deadly creations. Well, that's it. Please share your views and opinions in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest update. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one.